Okay, so thanks for checking out lifemed.ca. I'm Mike Dangerfield, and as you can see, I have the Escape Walker from Triumph Mobility, and we're going to feature this new backrest that they put on it. There's been quite a bit of thought uh, put into it in terms of its design, and some features that some other manufacturers haven't even thought of yet. Like a lot of other backs out there, they are depth adjustable, so you need to get your Phillips screwdriver, and as you can see, there's an adjustment point that's right here. Okay, so uh, we can just back this screw off here, um, there's a self-setting nut on the inside of the housing here and uh, we open that up and the back can move in closer to the client to capture them a little bit better and make them feel a bit safer and more comfortable if they feel that this position is too far away from them. Okay, so um, you definitely want to get uh, your Phillips screwdriver out when you're uh, setting up the backrest. And then of course, the other cool feature here is that uh, they've made this really strong. They've actually tested the plastic in a freezer, so sub-zero temperatures, where they put a nine pound weight on it and they bend it thousands of times to make sure that this plastic won't snap in the cold. It's got a nice crisscross reinforcement pattern in there when you see it up close. Okay, uh, I love how wide it is. So I've got my handy uh, Panthera tape measure here and I'm just gonna uh, take some measurements so you can all uh, sort of see what we're looking at. Uh, the backrest itself is a little over six and a half inches high, which is gonna make it really comfortable compared to, uh, you know, some of the other walkers that I've seen that have uh, just a foam uh, or even plastic strap that runs along the back. This is gonna um, absorb a lot more pressure and, and feel more comfortable to the client. Uh, we've got a 19 inch uh, seating area um, uh, from the inside to the inside seat measurement here and then we clear about uh, I'm going to say 18 and a half inches uh, in between uh, the levers that do the height adjustment and then across the top inside the back you're looking at uh, 20 inches uh, up there so lots of room for most people that are in a non-bariatric application and uh, what I found that's really really amazing uh, that nobody else has thought of yet. As far as I know, I haven't seen it. This is a really cool design. Uh, sometimes we get those shorter clients that are sort of, you know, five foot two or what have you, and they find that the back is up too high. So when they're sitting in here, the backrest is up closer to their shoulders, maybe too far away. So what Triumph uh, has done with their design of the Escape is we're able to move the backrest from this location down to here. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, so I grabbed a couple of 532nd Allen keys here, and again, the adjustments I'm going to make are from these bolts here uh, down to this section here. And one thing you want to remember is that because you've got this plastic housing that kind of clamps around, these bolts are going to be longer so that when we move uh, from this position down to here, uh, we're going to want to put the longer bolts in the lower position and the shorter bolts in the upper position. So I'll show you what I mean. Just want to keep those nice and close and just repeat the process over here on the back end or the other side okay so now we'll just back off the bolts in the upper part of the handle here and remember these are the longer ones so we're going to be moving those down so once you've removed the upper longer bolts you can just easily pull this back. You can see uh, those are the clamps there with the holes and now they're just simply going to fit in this position here. So just uh, place the nut on the outside here and that's your longer bolt that we were talking about that was up here. We're now putting into this section. Get your Allen key back out. And tighten that up. And then of course we want to use the shorter bolts just to fill these holes at the top so we don't get water in there and they don't get lost. You might need them later if you choose. Um, you're going to want to mount your accessories at this point. So if you want a cup holder or a cane holder, uh, for example, that has to mount at this point, in which case you couldn't lower the box strap. You'd have to keep it up here. It's always a good idea to keep your hardware because you might need to make an adjustment later.
So once you've replaced the uh, top bolts here, uh, you can take a measurement if you want. I measure that, guys, at about four and a half inches from here to here. So we've dropped the back down four and a half inches. And of course, these are all height adjustable too, right? So you're gonna wanna play around with the right handle height in the walking position and see how the backrest matches up when they're in the resting sitting position. Okay, so the idea being is that we want the handles to be right around the cuff of a sleeve right here when you're in the standing position. Make sure your brakes are locked. And then when you have a seat, it's actually got really nice support on the lumbar. 